Happy Halloween, everybody! On the show today, a pumpkin carving contest, some Halloween facts, and a whole lot more. It's our Halloween special for October 27th, 2017. Good morning, Logan High School. I'm Danielle Green. And I'm Nicholas Kudlapur. And welcome to our Halloween edition of the Chieftain Report. As you can tell, we are dressed up for the festivities. Fanny, what are you? I'm a mouse. Duh. Let's get on with the news. So it's Halloween, and we like to eat a lot of candy. What does that lead to? Guilt. How do we get rid of that? Exercise. Exactly. Come out to the Monster Dash tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. It's right here at the LHS Cross Country Course, and you can walk it or run it. So there's really no excuse to not come. If you're not pre-registered, make sure you get there before 9 so you can do that. Let's get a picture of me put up. As you can see, costumes are allowed, you know. Make it fun. Anyways, tomorrow, 9 a.m. Today is the last day the guidance counselors will be accepting applications for the National Honor Society. This is a great opportunity to, for students to get involved with the school, and it looks great on college applications. If you didn't quite meet the GPA requirements for applying this year, continue hard and apply next year. Teachers who have teacher recommendations forms to fill out, make sure to return those by 2.30 today. Getting your driver's license is exciting, but before you can take your test, you need to go through driver education classes. The next round of driver's ed starts November 6th, so if you are interested in signing up, go to the main office where you can pick up an information flyer. Tonight, at our football team's last game of the season, Pep Club will be holding a tailgate for all students who go to the game. You will get into the tailgate with the purchase of a ticket in the athletic office or at the game. They will be serving hot dogs, chips, cookies, and drinks. They will start serving food around 5.30, going until 6.30. After the game against Warren, the club will also be hosting an informal dance. So come out tonight to support our boys in their last game and join us for a small dance in the auxiliary gym after the game. The annual Logan Halloween Parade is scheduled for this Sunday, the 29th, at 5 p.m. Citywide Trick or Treat starts after the parade at about 5.30 until 7.30. So don your costumes, find a friend, and hit the streets. Halloween is a lot of fun. In national news, have you ever wanted something so badly you said you would pay a million dollars for it? Well, that's exactly what one man did, and then some. Democratic mega donor and billionaire Tom Steyer is spending more than $10 million towards the campaign to impeach current President Donald Trump. Steyer has already launched multiple national news commercials bashing Trump, hoping to advance his campaign goal. Now here's Klein Lehman with the weather report. Hey, what's up LHS? Welcome to this chilly weekend for weather. Let's hop into it. Today will be sunny throughout the day with showers coming in late tonight with a high of 68 and a low of 46. Tomorrow will be pretty wet and rainy with a high of 47 and the lowest it's been all year so far with 34 degrees. On Sunday, it will be mostly cloudy with a high of 46 and a low of 32. On Monday, it will be mostly cloudy with a low of 49 and a high of 32. Lastly, on Tuesday, it will be partly cloudy with a high of 54 and a low of 35. It's getting colder as the weeks go by, and it's not looking back. The highs for the past weeks have been dropping almost 10 degrees each week. Fall is almost halfway over, and we're just now feeling it. No snow yet, but if the weather keeps up, it won't be far down the road. And my joke for this week? Carter's anchoring skills. Klein Lehman, TV2 Weather. Now, a pumpkin carving competition. 
This is Kylissa Thompson. She is an avid fan of ice skating and loves the color neon orange. This is Emma Gabriel. She is a competitive deep sea diver by day, but by night she rocks the leather jacket and motorcycle. This is Caitlin Holrich, last year's cupcake decorating champion. Will she prove her right to that crown? Finally, we have Wyatt Ellinger. He has eight cats and enjoys short five minute walks on the beach. Let the pumpkin carving commence. Go. Now. <laughs> so make sure to go to Twitter and find us at Chieftain Report. And be sure to cast your vote for what pumpkin you think should win the title. It's Bullying Awareness Month, so here's our first PSA of the year. What a nerd. <laughs> Weirdo. Labels are for soup cans, not people. Here's Chieftain Sports with Carter Hodson and Joey Newton. Happy Halloween, Chieftain Sports fans. I'm Carter Hodson. And I'm joining. Let's get into sports. Last Friday, the Chieftains made the long road trip down to Hamilton Ross. The Chieftains came out hot in the first quarter, getting up 14 0 but after the first half, the Chieftains just couldn't keep the momentum going. Losing 33 to 21. Please come out and support the Chieftains tonight for their senior night and watch them go out on a high note. After the awesome win over Taze Valley, the Logan boys soccer team looked to get another win in the playoffs when they traveled to Westerville South. Logan scored at the beginning of the first half and held on to their lead until the Wildcats scored right before the end of the first. Both teams came out of the half ready to play, but neither could find a goal before the end of regulation. So the match had to be decided by golden goal. Coming into overtime, it looked again like it would go scoreless until the Chiefs put a shot right past the keeper, but unfortunately bounced off the post. Westerville took the chance to capitalize on Logan's missed opportunity by scoring a goal to win the game. The final score was Logan 1, Westerville 2. Boys and girls cross country teams traveled to Watkins to compete in the district's meet. Although no one made it to regionals, everyone raced very well and they had a great last meet of the season. Congratulations to both teams. Last Thursday, the girls' soccer team traveled to Olentangy to play their second playoff game. The girls couldn't keep up with Olentangy's fast-paced offense and fell behind seven goals. Logan loses their second playoff game 7-0. From all of us at TV2, we wish you a very spooky Halloween. I'm Carter Hodson. And I'm Jonan. Stay gold, pony boy. I'm feeling some Halloween facts. Here's Jasper Jones. <laughs> Halloween's quick approaching. Here's some interesting facts that'll probably tickle your brain with knowledge. Knowledge. Did you know Halloween's more Irish than St. Patrick's Day? It actually originated from Celtic origin. Celts believed that on, the, on Halloween Day, the dead rised from their graves and went walking around. The first Halloween jack-o'-lanterns were actually not made from pumpkins, they were made from turnips. Do you know that the originating name of witch actually came from the Old English wick, which meant wise woman? So then it was passed down until it became witch. Owls are a very popular Halloween image. This is due to because many old times they were thought to be witches. And when you hear an owl hoot, it means someone's going to die. 
The first mention of trick-or-treating in North America was written in 1927 in Blackie, Albert, Canada. Harry Houdini was one of the world's most mysterious magicians. Strangely enough, he died in 1926 on Halloween night. Halloween is basically celebrated everywhere, except for France and Australia. They normally see it as a overly commercialized American influence. Full moons are actually really rare to appear on Halloween. The next sighting of one is predicted to be in 1031, 2020. Halloween is the third biggest party day of the year, right behind New Year's Eve and Super Bowl Sunday. When the settlers first arrived, they believed black cats were bad luck and were also signs of witches. In the UK, that's different because they believe white cats actually bring bad luck. Well, those were some pretty interesting facts about Halloween you probably may have or may not have known. Jasper Jones, TV2. That's all we have this week. I'm Danielle Green. And I'm Nicholas Kulipour. Thanks for tuning in. May the Force be with you. From TV2, The, the Deuce. Deuce. And I'm joining. Texas forever. No. I gotta get it. <sighs> Harry Houdini, Harry Houdini, in medieval Europe, out oh, dang it, no, let me start with that. <laughs> Due to this, Stone. Stone.